Oh, wait, did he leave? You were living with your mom and your stepfather. Oh, yeah, I was living with my stepmom, my mom and my stepdad. I guess I was four or five. I was in kindergarten, and I moved up north, and then I stayed up there till where I was 14. And while I was 11 years old, my mom and my stepdad, they never really had a really good... They would do good for a period, and then they would start messing up again. With drugs, yeah. Yeah, alcohol and drugs, and uh, their own abuse lifestyles. Was he abusive towards her? Yes. And towards you and your brother? Yeah. And I'm only coming to realize, I guess my mom didn't love me and my... I got one biological brother, come from the same mom and dad. And I got another brother and sister from the same mom, a different dad. Then I got four sisters and a brother from the same dad, different mom. That's a mess. But my brother, I really love him, but he's just really messed up too. But as, in 81, my mom had a, a friend living there with a brother. And the brother was a child molester. So he was messing with me and my brother. And it didn't affect me like it affected him because I was old enough to push his hands away and everything else, and he still slept in my room and tried and would be nice. But where the portrayal comes in is, my mom knew that he molested my little brother and she allowed it. And my mom's good at numbing pain and forgetting stuff that goes on, but you gotta release that. And her behavior and her destruction lifestyle expresses what all the shit she's got going on in here. And she allowed this guy to live there, his name was Tommy. And it was only because my mom and her friend, I don't even know, remember her name, stole the black lady's uh, welfare check upstairs, Gussie. And uh, my mom's friend got beat with the bat and my mom, I guess the revenge Gussie took on my mom was calling the police and the cops came and got me and my little brother and that's where we were introduced to another lifestyle, the system. So How they, old were you when that happened? Eleven. And my brother was eight. And I suppose it was a, a blessing and a disguise despite the way it happened. And then um, we went to foster care for a couple months and went back home. And I guess at the time we didn't want to go back home, but we were too scared to tell anybody we didn't want, we wanted to stay in foster care. So we went back home and it was just, the problems really escalated because of my, we had social workers, we had to go to group therapies and see shrinks and, and everything. And again, the problems weren't getting addressed because it was my mom the problem the whole time. And the guy, he ended up going to prison for a couple of years. But the, the real problem was my mom and her abusive ways and her lifestyles. And it turned, now that I'm older, I realize she had mental problems. She just, not like us, we got life problems. My mom's got psychotic life uh, mental problems. You know, she used to slam us in the walls by our hair and make us go outside and from sun up to sundown and we would be hungry and we would eat off fruit trees and steal out of stores and fight the neighbor kids. And because we were from LA living in a Hispanic neighborhood up north, that didn't help matters. Plus we were Mexican and white, so we used to get the blues everywhere we went. You know, and it was very troubling. You know, then when we were in the house, there we were subjected to a, a, a verbal verbal abuse, and I guess that's what hurts now, what's still up here. The, the physical scars went away, but it was like we were stupid, we're son of bitches, we're, you're just like your father. And, and she would grab us by the hair and slam us in the walls, like in the hallway, but all the way down. You know, so growing up, we were very edgy, nervous kids, and we're still that way till today. That's why, by the grace of God, nobody's seen me go on one, but I got a really evil part of me. I'm not scared, and when I go mad, I get, I don't care. You know, I don't care who this and this and that, but I've been working on my issues, because I mean, I'm used to pain. 
but it's a sickness. It's it's scary because it's a curse. I never wanted to be who I am, and somewhere along the line, I realized being nice and compassionate is a lot better than being destructive and hurting people. Because I'm good at hurting people, but that's not who I am. Because every time I hurt somebody, it was reflecting on my childhood and my mom and my stepdad. And that's not the person that I am. And it's just, I don't, uh, 